We're looking at this pyramid. This pyramid, we want to find the surface area and volume of it. So let's do volume first. Like I always say, volume is always easiest. Or to me it is. Volume is equal to base times height divided by three. It's just like a prism, except it's a third the size. So right here, we need to figure out what our base is. Our base, or singular base, because the pyramid only has one base, is going to be a square, it looks like. So base is a square, which we get area is equal to s squared. Area is equal to 12 centimeters squared. We get area is equal to 144 centimeters squared. So that's our area, the height, the distance between the base and the apex, the highest point is 9.1. Good, so let's figure this out. V is equal to 144 centimeters squared times 9.1 centimeters all divided by three. 144 times 9.1 divided by three our volume of this pyramid is 436.8 centimeters cubed. All right, that's for our volume. Let's figure out the surface area. So the surface area for this pyramid is a little different than the other one. Surface area is equal to the slant height times the perimeter divided by two plus the base. So the reason why we divide by two is because we're just finding the area of all four of those triangles, multiplying it by the uh, perimeter, and the base would of course be that square. First, let's do the easiest one since I know we can do it. Let's find the perimeter. The perimeter is just gonna be the square, so P is equal to 4S, which is equal to four times 12 centimeters, so we get 12, 24, 36, 48 centimeters for our perimeter. So this problem has a little special added twist to it. We need to find the slant height. The slant height is the height of the triangles that make up the pyramid. So we don't know what that is. So what we're gonna do is have to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what is our slant height of this pyramid. So I'm gonna draw this out. So we have here, this right here represents our normal height. And why did I use height and perimeter the same thing? I don't know, that wasn't smart. But that's fine. So this right here represents our height of 9.1 centimeters. Down here that represents the length. It's a square, so half of the square from the center to here would be the same, so it'd be six centimeters and we don't know what the lateral height is, the slant height. All right, so right here, we do the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C um, here. So we get 9.1 centimeters squared plus six centimeters squared equals that, 9.1 squared 82.81 centimeters squared plus 36 equals the height plus 36 188.81 is the height square root 10.9 equals the slant so we can finally find the surface area of this so let's do that surface area is equal to the slant 10.9 centimeters times the perimeter, 48 centimeters, all added to 144. And don't forget, we're dividing this by two because it's uh, triangle. So 10.9 times 48 divided by two, its surface area is equal to, and then add 144. 4,000 or 405.6 centimeters squared. All right, and that's your answer for 2021.